playoff because uh, I mean the blitz is three minutes plus two seconds. It should be much much faster. It's two games match. So whoever scores more points out of the first two games, if it's one one, I'm still waiting for an information that what H4 takes takes. Ah, but we can't. We can't do this. We, we can't take on D4 because of Bishop C5. But there is also some Bishop takes F6 Knight D7 fork business looming. I would feel like Black has enough compensation here, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean, grabbing such exchanges is very double-edged. Yeah. She just killed Bishop F2, which is sensible. Yes, now that Black has committed to CD, no more 94 coming. Still a plus. Yeah, and the, the problem is finding moves are very difficult. Uh, we see already Dinara is down to one and a half minutes. No, none of her decisions come very easy and very naturally. Very well, dangerous. White moves are automatic with white ones. When F3, exactly. you are king H1, G4. Now your Queen FC will be played, H4, probably. Yeah. Or you want even Bishop H4. Nah, too complicated. I want Queen F3. Played. But hang on, okay. In this case, Black Knight might get to G6 and we still have this B5, B4, Knight E4 counter play. Bishop B4 played. Classy move. We are fighting for the E4 square. Tilted. Then again, he's shorted a game here against Muscle though. He won't be blocked. Farming against Artemiev, also farming with the white pieces. We know Artemiev is not a great theoretician. But what's with the colors? Why does everybody repeat colors? Yeah, because before Fabiano was the one who... Yeah, king takes h7, g6 check. F takes g6 only move. And then we can really choose how we want to give checkmate. Probably like this, huh? <laughs> well, even, even moves like queen f7 were leading to total mate. Queen f7, g5, h6, and then h7 checkmate is coming. How do we do it here? Well, EG is your move. I mean, my choice ah, is queen, queen f7. Just to. Just for the record, I still like my chances, but. Queen <laughs> <laughs> um, f7. Yeah, this looks good. G5, h6. Yeah, just to yeah, use this. Is... Uh -huh. I mean, basically, queen takes c2 check is your only move. Yeah. And we are not afraid of that. This is the point. If you don't have a stable repertoire, then fighting against the top guys. 
just impossible because you let them play and they will play because they can play brilliantly. Yeah, of course, as always, if you're a super strong player but you're not invited to all these super tunnels, often people also don't feel the need why would I work with the Berlin or the Marshall if I need to play opens and leagues and win games with the black pieces. But of course, it comes back to, to catch them sometimes. In fact, the point is that if you come uh, with Berlins and all this professional preparation into open tournaments, you will never win a good tournament. Yeah, that's no, the... just make the draws like <laughs> I do, honestly. <laughs> it's, it's not much fun. Or the reason why I don't want to play opens, yeah, because I also feel like I can always play against top guys, but I, I simply cannot with my opening repertoire and with my chess approach uh, win all my games in open tournaments. It's just impossible. Magnus somehow can do it all. He has the professional openings, he can play nonsense. It's just good. And even with this one, one setback here. I think he's played an impressive rapid repertoire. Yeah, G6 on the board, FG. Let's, go. Let's see, Magnus will go. Yeah, he'll, he'll play your move, it's the cleanest side. It's Magnus. I mean, the first uh, Chessyburg course was also, yeah, attacking without sacrificing my Magnus cards, and I just loved it. Like, <laughs> that's that's exactly the dream scenario. And it's played. Queen F7 on the board. Yeah, it resigns. Well, G5, H6, and then Black will resign. It is also so pleasing not to play something like this in the last game. Very. Check meeting your opponent. Mm. Max Toblu will have nightmares after this game. Just got an outclass. Mm. Looks like he's calculating something good. But that no, could look be. Look at, look at Max. It's over, of course. And what it means to him? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. clear, evident. Sappy. Uh, there was still some kind of thoughts like, how did I make that blunder against Atiyamir, uh, but I'm still back. Yeah, I, I feel like this is what I read from his face expression. Yeah. No, but he's probably rightly. G5H6 has to be played before resigning. Very important. Yeah. Wow. So Magnus takes the lead again. Now uh, the big question is, will anyone be able to catch him? Let's see. Artemiev needs to win now against Fabi. Looks like he's under pressure. Yeah, very unlikely. He's a bond down. But the position is still not stabilized. There could be compensation. 